Hi, everybody. Welcome to Little Joy and Shards. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, what we usually do, we talk about all things crochet and have a little bit of wine to drink. All right. If this is your very first time watching this live stream, I'm going to try to let you know on the replay, I'm going to leave all the information on where exactly the meat of this information starts. Because, you know, I tend to talk a lot and get off topic. That's not what live streams about. Live streams about me getting to know you. So I'll leave a timestamp below on where the meat of the fun part of this whole live stream is. All right, guys. So how is everybody? Happy belated Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Kwanzaa, and soon to be Happy New Year. How is everybody doing? Did you survive the snowstorm for all the people that are in like the snowy areas? Here in Pennsylvania, um, I'm near the Pittsburgh area. We got about a foot of snow. My son has been living his best life for the past three days. Usually out here, the snow melts pretty quickly, but he's been pretty happy. So how's everything with everybody? I'm going to hop into the chat and see how everybody is. I see I have my girl, Dieta and J-Hope Crochet. Those are the moderators. They're here to make sure everybody is in check. Oh, and for you guys, the moderators, just letting you know, we're not doing any more live streams for the rest of the year. I mean, there's only one more live Saturday the rest of this year, but don't worry about next week. I'll send you guys both the emails and let you know when we're going to start up again next year. So let's see how much snow everybody else got and where you're from. Let's see. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to pull that one up. We got some people. Rainy season says, I'm in Florida. I'm guessing you don't get any snow right now. Let's see. All right, not too much. It's like we got some more Floridas. Hey, I finally made it to a live stream. Yay. Thank you for making it here, Cece Brown. Brown, that's my maiden name. All right, so, oops, New Mexico. No snow. Where's all my like, snowy people at? Where's my northern people? Is it just me? Here we go. Crochet Cat. She said she had six plus inches of snow in Maryland. All right, I knew I wasn't the only one up here. So let me take a sip. Pull that off. So what we are going to do, usually I ask you two questions before we get, I show you the two patterns. So the first question I'm going to ask you for today is, what was your favorite Christmas gift that you've ever received? If you're, uh, don't sell about Christmas, favorite gift just in general that you've ever received. Before you uh, type your answer in the comment section, make sure you put about three question marks right in front of it so I know to bring it up to the front so everybody gets to see it. All right, so what is your most favorite Christmas present you've ever received? Let's hop into the very first pattern. Make sure, I, yeah, I share it my screen. Hmm. All right, this is called the Chapstick Keychain Wristlet. I swear my pockets are like Narnia. My headphones always get magically tangled up with my chapstick. Always seems to have run off with the lions. This chapstick keychain wristlet is such a great idea. It's so quick and easy too. Des uh, the designer is Crochet It Cro Sorry guys, Crochet It Creations. I used to make these little chapstick keychain holders when I used to do craft shows. These were something super quick to make. And you can sell for pretty cheap. Oh, I've never seen it made like this. When I made my chaps, chapstick key holders, I made mine just like you would amigurumi, like in the round. I've never seen it made like this. Let me scroll down some, some more. Okay, I see that. Oh, this is strange. So this is perfect for beginners. And you're just sewing down the sides, I'm assuming. Let me scroll down some more. I didn't realize I would go so into detail about this. I've never seen it made like this before. I don't know. It seems a little extra. I probably would have just made mine just in perfect little circles. All right. So the second pattern we are going to look at is another uh, lip balm holder. This one is called the Candy Cane Lip Balm Holder. Keep it fabulous and festive with these adorable candy cane lip balm holders. And take a closer look at the green one in the picture. Yes, you can put money in these too. These little guys are just another, uh, just under four inches tall. So it should be able to be whipped up. You should be able to whip these up in a jiffy. 
See, I think I would rather have me some uh, money in my little stuff right there. I like that. See, this is how I would originally made my chapstick holder. Just imagine it without the little uh, candy cane holder right there. Let's see if it shows you any pictures. It's pretty basic. No extra pictures. All right, let's bring it back to my face. And let's answer that very first question. Let me cross it off the list quick. What was your favorite gift that you've ever received? I'll go first. I was 11 years old and I woke up on Christmas morning. My parents, I mean, by that age, I wasn't playing with too many toys, but I've always loved stuffed animals. And I got my favorite stuffed animal I ever received. I still have it. And I gave it to my daughter. It used to be a beautiful, a light color can. And it used to have like a little heart right here. I've had this for the past 30 years. When I was a teenager, I hope my daughter doesn't do this. This is her beer now. I used to hide like my bad teenage contraband inside my stuffed animal's leg. Does my daughter hide anything in there? Okay, she's not like me. But this was my favorite gift I've ever received. Nickname for my bear, the name for my bear is Stuffy. Regina Stuffy the Bear. Stuffy's Regina's middle name. <laughs> All right, let me hop into the comments and see what your favorite Christmas present or present ever that you received. Let's see. Thea, yeah, I hope I pronounced your name right. I hope I pronounced your name right. We are poor. One year, my mom bought me this doll I wanted, but couldn't afford any accessories. So she had my aunt make clothes. My babysitter made a Crockett diaper bag and my grandpa a wooden bed. Oh, do you still have it? That's something you like to say forever. Heather said, her dog. Is that the picture of your dog right there? Beautiful. Let's see what else. Karen said, my engagement ring. That's beautiful. It's like, I don't mean to get into an engagement story. I tried to tell my husband, like, listen, when you propose to me, don't propose to me on Valentine's, my birthday, or Christmas. I wanted to be a surprise. Were you still surprised when you got proposed to on uh, Christmas? Let's see. Hey, Victoria. Any handmade gifts? My friend gives me uh, pickles every year and my kids give me beautiful crafts. I like the idea of getting pickles every eight years. That's like a tradition between the both of you. Let's see. Every year I ask my son to, I want you to make me something beautiful or write me a letter. That's what I always want. And every year it never happens. Ooh, car and $200 cash. Where did you go? Price is right? That's a, that's a nice Christmas gift. I wish I can have me a Christmas gift of a car. All right. I'm going to look up one more. Let's see. From Blair. My grandparents made us snowball so we could have snowball fights inside. Oh, that's sweet. I like this. Okay. So I'm not going to go too much further into this. Let's get into the very next one. So my next question I'm going to ask you guys. Hmm. I got a list. These are going to be like um, and or or type questions. So which do you prefer and why? Susan Bates or boy? Most of you guys who follow me know what my preference is. But I want to know your preference of crochet hooks. Who do you prefer, Susan Bates or boy hooks? All right. So let's hop into the very next section of patterns. Number three, this is called the Quick Gift Mug Cozy. Super bulky yarn to the rescue. Make the most of your last minute preparations with this Quick Mug Cozy. There are a lot of Mug Cozy pattern patterns out there, but this one is the fastest to make. Personalize it with a mug filled with bags of tea, coffee beans, or candy. The designer of this pattern is Fiber Flux. Okay, guys, um, I usually like to tell you the person who did, um, writes my blog pattern roundups. Her name is Angela Adder. You can find her website is called Nine Inspired. Nine Inspired. She collects all these patterns for me. So when I get to see these patterns, it's like the very first time I'm seeing it also. Okay, here's another pattern made back and forth. Here we go. What makes it so quick? Is it a special stitch that makes it so quick? It just looks like double crochets. 
I like it. All right. So let's go into the next one. So if you guys ever wonder, why is she so like, woo, what is this? It's actually one of the first times I'm looking at the patterns too. So number four, this is called the Hand Sanitizer Cozy. Commemorate 2020 with a fast hand, hand sanitizer cozy. It's a gift that you guys uh, would love to help keep you safe. Also think it's kind of funny. Plus, you could tie the little cord into a purse and hang it around something like your car so you can always find it. You wouldn't think, I mean, 2019, would hand sanitizer cozies be so popular in 2019 as they are now? It's like we have them everywhere. I have some in my car. I have some in my house. I have. I always stick them in my family's car because I know they don't care around enough. Sorry, that's me just babbling on. But this is a cute, quick pattern. Great stocking stuffer to make in no time. So back to my mug. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the answer yet, but that's hand sanitizer. I don't know if it's just me or my family doesn't care as much as I do. I feel like I'm always putting Clorox wipes in my daughter's car to make sure she's okay or damning like hand sanitizer into my son's back pocket or in my husband's car. It's like they don't care. I'm like, where is the one I gave you? They're like, I don't know. I left it somewhere. I don't know. I just have them always pulling out of my pocket. All right. So <laughs> the question that I asked. Are you a boy lover, the crochet hook, or are you a Susan Bates lover? Me, I love Susan Bates. Susan Bates is my all-time favorite crochet hook. I love the shape of the head. For me, it just snatches up the yarn a lot quicker. I don't know, that round crochet hook with a boy that I should have had him right next to me. I don't have any. Oh, guys, give me two seconds. I hope my butt's not in the camera. Ugh. All right, this is a boy crochet hook, and here's a base. So I only get the plastic one. For me, that base hook, that inline, and the tip is slightly pointed. It works into the stitches so much easier than uh, the boy hook. I don't know; it's a lot rounder. I just don't like it as much. Here we go. Here is a boy crochet hook. This is a bigger one now. It's a bad comparison. The head is just very blunt for me. And when I'm trying to push it into the stitch, I don't know, it just sometimes doesn't grow through. So let me see what your opinion is. Is it just me who loves uh, Susan Bates? Susan Bates lover, there we go. Uh, Diamond Crystal. Susan Bates, as I like it more than the boy, as it works better and on a 17th of December, I didn't have hooks. It was a boy hook from the shop. So I like Susan Bates hooks better on the look and the feel. I've had to do that. My favorite crochet hook is, uh, you know, Susan Bates, but the favorite size, I love a five millimeter crochet hook. And those patterns are based when you're doing works of weight yarn, use five millimeter crochet hook. If you notice any of my patterns, a lot of them use 5.5 or I'll make a looser stitch pattern with like a six millimeter crochet hook. It's because I lost my Susan Bates five millimeter crochet hook. And if I really, really need it, I'll pull out a boy and it's just a pain working with it. I can't stand it. Uh oh, we got a boy lover. Boy hooks because yarn glides quicker than a, on a Susan Bates. Ooh. This is a bad comparison because this is the uh, ergonomic crochet hook. And the other one is a little bit, I don't have many. Okay, I got a good one for comparison. I can see where you say it slides better. The boy has a longer shaft than the Susan Bates. Let's see. Can you see the shaft of it? It's much longer. Hmm. So maybe, wait, wait, is it? Hold on. Yeah, it is. No, it's not much longer. The boy hook is longer, but the shaft is still the same. No? I don't know. They look pretty similar. But there's not as much of a throat to it. The Susan Bass throat, I don't know. 
actually with the bananas, I was looking at two boys. That's why I'm like, no, that's why they look exactly the same. Here we go. Let's look at the shaft. There we go. Susan Bates does have a shorter staff. I had two boys together. That's why. This is Susan Bates. I mean, this is Susan Bates. This is a boy. Susan Bates. So, yes, I can understand how it slides better. We have Ellie. To me, boy catches yarn that ends to split nicely. Mm, okay. Let's see. And we'll answer one more. One more. Denise says, I use either one, but mostly boy. Bad boy. <laughs> but more power to whoever which hook you use, as long as it crochets and it makes you happy. All right. So we got that question out of the way. This one's about um, gift wrapping. Wrap the present by hand or put it in a gift bag. So before you put your answer in the uh, chat right now, make sure you put little question marks right in front of it so we can bring it up to the front. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if any of you would like to donate via Super Chat, you can see the little dollar sign in the chat section where you are right now. When you do, the bubbles will go off, the lights will go off, and you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. So just let you know that. So you guys ready to hop right back into it? Let me pull up the screen share. Where are we? We just finished that one. And now we are number five. Let me double check screen share. I got it. Little Mittens gift card holder. There's no shame in my gift card game. Why agonize over the perfect gift when I can just tell them to pick something out that they really love? Make a little extra special and personal with a handmade gift card holder shaped like a little cute mitten. When I first seen, seen this, I thought it was an actual mitten. Like, where's the second one? And why does it look so teeny? It's a gift card holder. So let me pull up a picture. Does she have a picture with a gift card in it? Please have a picture with a gift card in it. She doesn't. I would love to see the size next to a gift card itself. But I like that one. Oh, did I tell you the designer of this mitt? This is by The Stitching Mommy. All these patterns that I'm mentioning right now, don't worry about writing them down. Check down in the description box below. I made a complete pattern roundup of all these patterns so you don't have to worry about searching all over the internet. So this is pattern number six. This is called the Mermaid Pencil Topper. Personalize a pack of new pencils with a mermaid pencil topper for the mermaid-obsessed doodler in your life. Or just go search free crochet pencil topper patterns and see what um, jumps out at you. I like this idea so much just because it's cute, quick, and practical. The designer, the knotted nest. I like this if you have anybody who's in love with mermaids. Well, my daughter was a little girl. She was, and now she's a 20-year-old woman, so blah. I bet you can make chapstick holders out of these, too. Hmm. I bet you can make pencil toppers out of those uh, candy canes that we just looked at a couple seconds ago. Look at us being geniuses. All right. So we just do two already? That was so quick. Okay. It's like this live stream is going quicker than usual. Let me slow it down because let me I didn't have any of my wine yet. I'm usually slightly tipsy by this time. So my question was wrap or uh what is it? I got a super sticker. Oh my goodness, I missed it. I should have put up a stipulation, Anna. Thank you so much. When you uh, donate with a super sticker, my uh, bubbles don't go off. But just for you, I'm going to press the lights and the bubbles. Cheers to you, Anna. Thank you so much. And happy holidays to you. And you get to spin the wheel of patterns. Let me turn this off in the background. There we go. You landed on my yellow mittens. Let me show you what my yellow mittens look like. I'll pull it up. Quick screen share. Scroll down. All of my patterns in my shop right now are 25% out, 25% off. So here are the quick mitts. 
in order for you to get this pattern, I need you to email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email is down in the description box below and let me know the pattern that you just won. All right. And if I ever miss anybody's super chat, please just spam me, yell at me in the chat, and I will find you. All right. Um, Danetta, I hope I pronounced your name right. I like to wrap gifts. Presentation is important. Oops. Okay, I'm going to, uh, Elena, Alina, I'm, I don't want to ruin your name. Allie, that's what I'm going to call you. Allie, she says gifts or bags. I'm more like Allie. I forgot I used to answer first. I'm lazy. I do not like to wrap. When I wrap, it takes forever. And for my children, they open the gift so quickly. They don't even notice that I made all the corners perfect. It's like paper everywhere and it's open. Growing up, I had very wonderful parents, but I guess me and my mother are very similar. She didn't care for wrap presents. So when I used to wake up on Christmas morning, none of my presents were wrapped. My presents were just under the tree. I mean, I still believed in Santa Claus. I just, Santa Claus didn't wrap her presents. Growing up later, my mom's like, I didn't feel like wrapping all them presents. You're just going to rip them open. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I should do the same for my kids. Then my husband's like, no, we got to wrap them presents so they can have a magical moment. So we wrap presents. But for other people, they get gift bags. Okay, let's see what else. Here we go. Ivy Creates says, this year I'm doing flip top boxes so they can reuse them. <gasps> Is anybody like me? Do you have gift bags? I have like a big old tub full of old present bags that are still good that I'm gonna reuse. It's like upstairs. I'm like, I'm not going to throw this away. Somebody might have a baby shower. Somebody else might have a 40th birthday. I'm going to pull out this bag that I have in my closet and stuff their gift in it. Yeah, I reuse all of my bags. I'm bad like that. Let's see. Gift bags all the way. Yes, another vote for gift bags. I used to do this in school. Deanna says, I use old comics from the Sunday newspaper. I have a huge box. I've saved them for years. I remember um, being in school, we would have the Secret Santa in elementary or whatever. And I would always wrap my friend's gift in the comic strips. And I just loved it. I thought that was the coolest idea. And I'll answer one more. This is from Virgie. Welcome back. I'm not... Okay, I'm not picky about what people do for gifts. They give to me, but I wrap my gifts that I give and add a personal touch. Sorry, read yours. Oh, no, but cool idea. So let me take another sip before I hop into this. I have to read these, and my speech always gets so bad while I'm reading. So I try to whip my whistle as I go. All right, guys, you ready for the next question? We did that. Wrap or gift bag. Here we go. Cash or present. What do you think? Cash or present. Before you um, answer, make sure you put three question marks in front of your answer so I'll be able to bring it up so we all can chit chat about it. So let's get into the next one. We did here. Ooh, we are on number seven. Did I screen share? I didn't. Oh, I'm glad I came back. We have a super chat. Proverbs 31, is that a picture? I get to see, see, I can't really see your picture. It's like real small on my screen. I'm like, oh, I've never seen you, but cheers to you. Turn off the lights. Cheers. How are you doing, Miss Proverbs 31? And welcome back. Let's give you a spin. You landed on my loafers. 
Let me pull this down so you'll be able to see it. Screen share, loafers. It's already right there. So make sure you email me, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Thank you again for donating. I appreciate it so much. So where was I? Oh, we was back into the screen share. There we go. Number seven. This is called the Pyramid Lavender Bag. These mini scent sa satchels are just over three inches tall. The pyramid design is so elegant that the little ribbon holder really helps give us a gift wow factor. Simply fill them with dried lavender or dried rice and essential oils. The designer of this tiny little bag is Ned and Mimi. This is cute. I would probably, for me, well, my daughter likes to hang things in her rearview mirror, even though in Pennsylvania it is illegal to do so. But this one is tiny. I might let her. She has this big old air freshener hanging there. Well, maybe I can put it in front of her little vent. Let's see, scroll down up close. How do you get rid of this advertisement over there? I can't get rid of it. There's an X. There it is. An X hiding the X. No, I would not hang this in the car. It's too shallow to hang. Where would I put this? Maybe next to my desk where I craft. You can put it anywhere on a keychain. That's cute. So the next one, this one, I absolutely love. Whoever designed this, I'll find out when I read it in a second with you, is an absolute genius. I would have never thought of making these little air uh, pot holders. But number eight, these are earbud holders. You can make a pretty and safe place to store your headphones with this free crochet pattern. The multicolor sunburst design is sure to impress and um, envelop closure that um, makes the back means it's always going to be able to close. So guys, this is so cute. Oh, I still didn't read the designer. Designer of this is Crocheted Simplicity. Look at this. You can probably make this in five minutes for the front, five minutes for the back. Love it. Oh, I'm going to make one for my daughter. Oh, you could probably do the same thing with the last thing and put some like smell goodies inside of it, not just for earbud holders. I like this. That's definitely going to be on my to-do list. All right. The last question was, oh, cash or present? For myself, I like a present, not a store-bought present. It doesn't have to be store-bought. I like the idea of somebody taking a moment to think about me, thinking about what would Alicia like, or woo, somebody super chatted. Let me see. Cece Brown. Know it. You're my cousin because you got my maiden name. I really love the mug ornaments you shared a few weeks ago. Made a bunch for coworkers. Oh, you mean the little keychain ones with the tiny little marshmallows that you can put inside? Those were cute. Everybody, raise your glass to Cece, my new cousin, Brown. Oh, we, I see we have another one. I'll get to you in a second. So cheers to you. And let's give you a spin. And happy holidays to you too. I didn't mention that. Let's see. You landed on the green. The green is my magic scarf. I'll show you that in one second. We have one more person. Thea, I love your channel. You are always so fun. Thank you so much. I'm so amused that anybody would ever watch me. Oh, and you didn't get your own private bubble show. So, Thea, cheers to you. Get your own private bubble show. <laughs> oh, now I have an excuse to drink. So let me give you a spin. You landed on my ultimate bundle. So that is 40 of my crochet patterns. Let me show you guys what you got. The magic scarf. Where's the magic? I didn't screen share. Sorry. Magic scarf. I believe that is page two. There it is. The magic scarf. You can wear it as a... Uh, Infinity scarf, a shawl, whatever. You can wear it in several different ways. 
So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. So yeah, gmail.com so I can send you off your patterns. My email address is down in the description box below. So cash or present? Let's see. Aldre says cash for me, but I don't mind the present. We got another super chat. Lori, happy holidays to Lori. I miss you. I'm going to have to start messaging you more on uh, Facebook now that we're like friends now. And I've always see you every single week. I feel like I should know more about you. But cheers to you. I love the picture of you and your pup. But let's give you a spin. You get the uh, crochet snowman, so make sure. Did you ever see that before? You get the crochet snowman, but I am going to show you what that is. You know the routine. Make sure you email me. Here it is. Back to homemade gifts. One of my favorite, Deanna. She is one of our moderators. She makes these beautiful. Here is one for my son. He got to look at the card for like a hot second, and I took it away from him because it was so beautiful. It started to fall apart. He did this. But she made this beautiful car for my son's ninth birthday. The fact that she took the time and the patience to do something. To me, that's more beautiful than going out to the store and like picking up a present. Where is my car? Oh. Oh, we got another super chat. And I missed the super sticker. Thank you so much. Where is my cup to cheers to you? Cheers to you. Okay, whoops, wrong one. I already pulled, did I, no, Dre, did I, did I pull up yours already? Hold on, I'm getting lost all over the place. My super cats are going in the weird areas. Oh, I wrote that horribly. What did I put? Dragon, my dragon sweater. Okay. And Valdre, did I already do you? I feel like I did. No, no, I did not. Just in case, love your stream, streams. Glad to be here. And guys, if I'm repeating myself, I don't mean to. You got the snowman also. So let me show you both what you got. Pull that off. So the snowman and the dragon stitch sweater is right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email is down below. Ooh, that was a lot. So where were we? We're still talking about gifts. Gigi says, I like them both. Adonis World, I love to give gifts, but I give cash to the boys and the family after they reach preteen years. My daughter, she's like, Mom, all I want is cash. I'm like, you sure you're she's like, I want cash money, nothing else. I don't want like a specific Amazon gift card. I just want cash. I think that's more teenagers. Let's see. My sisters and nieces are all getting something I crochet. I remember I had to throw, it was maybe four or five years ago, a wonderful coworker of mine, she wanted crocheted items for all of her family members. She wanted a hat and a scarf. I'm like, okay. She said she wanted an order of 50. So 50 hats and 50 scarves. Luckily, I had a coworker, a coworker who was also a crafty crochet guru. She crocheted 50 hats. I uh, knit a uh, on my knitting machine, 50 scarves. It was some good money that we made. Let's see. We'll take one more. You sent another super chat. Did I miss you? I'm so sorry. Did I miss you? If I did, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me, or is this an old one? 
let me see. Wait, this is from 32. So that was a couple minutes ago. So I did miss you. I'm sorry. See, it's the super stickers. So next, if you, you don't have to super chat no more. <laughs> if you ever uh, super chat to any one of your uh, gurus or whatever, make sure you super chat and just type something in it. For me, my little technology system's not set up for stickers. I don't know why it won't work, but if you just comment in it, it'll probably show up. There you go. But cheers to you. Let's give you another spin. I'm so sorry for missing you. And thank you guys for yelling at me in the chat. You received the dragon sweater also. If you were just paying attention, that was the one. Somebody else just won. Baudre, I believe. Let's see. Yay. Okay, I did get you. Forgive me. You're such a beautiful girl. Forgive me. All right, so let's hop into the very next one. The last two, actually. Hmm. Oh, at, it's a simple question. Out of all of these patterns, which one are you going to make? Since this is my last set of questions, this is also the opportunity. If you want to ask anything about me right now, there's your chance. Ask what my favorite color is. Ask what my favorite stitch. Ask nothing too personal. I love to talk about how to make money um, crocheting. So make sure you um, ask me questions about that. Oh, and we got another super chat. Oh my goodness, Karen Miller. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you too. Cheers. Crocheting wine is a little on time. Cheers to you. Miss Karen, welcome back. And let me pull this down. Let me see, give you a spin. You landed on the yellow mittens. The yellow mittens, I'll show you right here. Yellow mittens. We're, oh, yellow mittens on page one. Okay, I was just trying to make sure I uh, had screen share on. I always forget and have you guys looking at my face. All right, so if you have any questions for me or which one of these panels you're going to make, before you comment, make sure you put three question marks ahead of it so I can bring you to the front. Let's get to the very last two patterns. This is called the Simple Feminine Scrunchie. Scrunchies are making a serious comeback in the fashion scene right now. And crochet scrunchies are no exception. I like the construction of this one because it's really simple and speedy. So check it out. The designer of this is Selena. For me, scrunchies have never went out of style. I have a lot of curly hair and those regular hair ties just get swallowed up in my head. Oh, that is so pretty. So scrunchies are one of my favorite. I have been seeing a lot of the scrunchies made in that velour velvet yarn. I think I might have to make myself one. Give me a good 1980s scrunchie and put it right on top of my nugget. <laughs> All right. So next one, very last one. This is the quick face scrubby. Pretty spiral ridges make this extra scrubby, scrubby and cute. Make a few to give as a set in cotton. Crochet face scrubbies can be both functional and beautiful, don't you think? There's even a printable lacy um, label that you can put on top of it. All right. I would have never. That makes it look so much professional. If I was doing craft shows, but nobody's going craft shows during this pandemic, so you don't have to worry about that. But you can sell these in your Etsy shop or give these away as gifts. They're quick and easy. Well, oh, they are spiral. I'm sorry. I'm just like seeing these for the first time myself. Let me get a, there we go. There's my nice tight up close picture. These are all perfect for beginners and easy to make in no time. I used to make my face scrubbies in the, what is it? Is it bobble? No, the popcorn stitch. But this one is even quicker. What are you doing over there, son? 
Oh, my son's uh, cleaning out his room, getting ready for uh, Christmas. Okay, guys. Does any, can anybody, I'm doing it for you, buddy. Can anybody find the elf that my son hid? I have no clue where it is. He popped it where it is right now. So hoping one of you guys would find it and comment on it. So. That was his big thing. He's like, Mom, wouldn't you think it'd be a great idea for your followers to find the elf? Yep, I, I think they see it, buddy. They love it. <laughs> okay, let me hop into it. I'm sorry. So what was it? Which one of these would you guys... Hold on. Did I finish it? Yes. So out of all of these patterns, which one of these would you want to make? The one that I wanted to make, where is it? I'm trying to look through it as we're on it now. It wasn't that one. Not the hand sanitizer. I like the mermaid. It was the uh, lavender one. I like the lavender and the air bud. Those two things I am definitely going to make. I am not going to make it as a gift. I'm going to make it for myself. And after that, once my family member sees it, once my daughter sees it, she's going to ask me to make another one. Hmm. Oh, Isaac, Dieta says she loves the elf on the shelf. Elf. I'm not going to read that part, but she loves the elf. <laughs> the elf does. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got, I seen it before it went off. My girl, Maria, does your family have any Christmas traditions? After we open presents, we take all the paper and boxes and have a Christmas bonfire. Cheers and Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, Miss Maria. And thanks for coming back again. Okay, first I'll answer your question. Then we'll give yourself a spin. Hmm, my family traditions. Growing up, for my family, when I was little, after Christmas, we'd open our presents or whatever, and my dad would make a huge breakfast. My mom usually cooks, but on Christmas morning, my dad would cook. But as I've grown up, we've developed our own Christmas tradition. Now, my husband, he hosts Christmas brunch every single year. So we have a very tiny house. And our house, well, not this year because we're not gathering. But typically, in my tiny house, we fit like oh, 25 people. Once you sit down at the table, that's your seat for the rest of the day. That's your seat until you eat and leave. <laughs> but that's what we do. Our Christmas brunch. What else? Oh, my children have a thing that they always do. My daughter is 10 years older than my son. And every Christmas Eve, since my son's second Christmas, he sleeps in his sister's room. But this year, since my daughter has a grown-up people job, because she's 19 years old, she's going to be working till 11 o'clock at night on Christmas Eve. And she works an hour away, so she won't get home till midnight. So I don't know if they're actually going to be sleeping in a room together. She says that Isaac, my son, can sleep in her room until she gets back. But is they're growing up. It's making me sad. It has to change. Did you crochet any Christmas gifts this year? I'm crocheting my daughter a Shaw cardigan. Actually, no. Typically, uh, oh, I forgot to spin for Maria. Maria, here you go. I'm sorry, but I'll answer your um, question in a second. It keeps laying on yellow mittens. I'm going to get an electronical cloud. I'm going to get an electronical one. Somebody mentioned that before, and they're way more reliable. I just love the tactile feel of this as it spins. This is the snowmanic pillow. No, Maria, go to my Etsy. Take what you want. I'm going to change my spinner now. Even though it's so fun to spin, I'm just going to use an electronic one from now on. Hmm. So what was, I already forget. Oh, did I make any Christmas crochet Christmas presents? No, I did not. Typically, all of my crochet items that I make from tutorials during the year, I used to just give to my coworkers. That would be a Christmas present or we'd have a gift exchange at work. And I was always crocheting somebody for um, a gift exchange gift exchange. But this year I quit my job. So therefore I'm not forced into any type of work ex 
exchange going on. So I don't know. I don't have anybody to give anything to. I'm always making stuff for people in the house, just not for myself. Gail says, whoops, Gail, there it is. Candy cane lip balm holder and air pod holder. We're on the same level. Those were my absolute two favorites. I never would have thought to make like an earbud holder. Especially not all like the young kids now are wearing the little earbuds that fit into their ear. I don't understand that. Do, do any of you wear those wireless uh, iPhone earbuds? I've never in my entire life been able to wear earbuds. I have extremely small ears and I guess maybe my ear holes are shallow or something. I just can't wear things in my ear. They just fall out. I can't see pants so much money for something that's going to fall out. At least with like the wired ones. Call me old school. I can find it. I'm going to see a wire hanging out somewhere. But, okay. Sorry. Here we go. Scroll up. The Juke. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I've been uh, following you since April. I finally got up the nerve to post. LOL, your spirit is wonderful and you are such an encouragement to me. You're a celebrity in our house. What? <laughs> Actually, the only person that thinks I'm a celebrity in this house is my nine-year-old. The rest of my family thinks it's pretty comical. But thank you so much. Cheers to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, that is the wine drinking elf on the shelf. We should tip his hat a little side like he had a little bit too much. He's the wine box protector. <laughs> Let's see. I did not get your Christmas card. I just checked my uh, mailbox. I guess I did just check. It was today, Friday. I checked my mailbox um, Monday. I have a P.O. box. It's separate than my own personal box. So my mailbox is right outside my house. I check it all the time. But my P.O. box, my extra box for my business, I check it once a week. So I'm actually going to go out there and check it. Najat, welcome back. Uh, do you have a family member who keeps asking for crochet stuff for me? It's my cat. He wants lots of my mini app hands. <laughs> uh, I guess my daughter is my cat. And my husband is my cat. All they want are slouchy beanie hats. My husband has long locks and my daughter has this head full of luscious, beautiful curls that she just wants to cover with a hat. So, yeah, but that's cute, your cat. You're killing me. <laughs> Natalie, I hate when you're standing in line and someone is talking on their um, AirPods and you think they're speaking to you. I know. And they're like this. Hold on. When you start talking back, they look at you like this. I didn't know you had. Give me some. I need to know that there's something connected to your face. How's all that work? I don't know. Ugh. Erin, she says she absolutely loves her AirPods. Bless your heart. <laughs> How do you keep them in your head? And what do you do when you just lose one? I lose so many things all the time. And plus, I'm, I'm also anti-Apple. I don't know why I am, but I am. It's like I'm Android for life. I feel like I can't. I can't fall into the whole iPod, i not iPod, iPhone fez phase. I don't know. I just can't do it. <laughs> They're so expensive too. Right here, Victoria. I hate earbuds. I like the big, huge ones that cover your whole ear. Yeah, you know, so you can actually feel like you're listening to music or something. Those little ones. I guess um, I've had smaller ones. I mean, they're hard to stick in my ear. I wear them at work when I wasn't supposed to. I still had the wire because I'm old school. I would stick it in my ear, down my shirt, and just have one in. Like, mm -hmm, I'm not listening. You know, I was kind of being bad at work. All right, guys, if you have any questions for me, make sure you put little question marks in front of it. 
Oh, I just seen one from one of my faves. XD Symphony. Oh, a picture. Didn't have your picture before, did you? I love it. You're a cutie. I always put my phone up to my ear, even when I have earbuds in my ear, so people know I'm talking. <laughs> there you go. So we don't feel like we're crazy. Team Android. Yes, Android for life. Oh, tip. People always ask me, like, Alicia, what do you record? How do you film your YouTube videos? I want to be on YouTube like this. What type of tech do you use? I use, I film, I've managed to get 120 subscribers using this phone. This is an Android phone. It cost me $180. My first uh, 50,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, it was on a $50 Android phone that I got on Amazon for cheap. But I did make sure it had a good camera. I don't use any, like, what type of equipment do you use? I'm like, I use a $25 tripod that I get on Amazon. Actually, it was less than that because I use a bipod. Guys, if you want to learn how to get stuff cheap, uh, sign up for Vipon. You can get discounted on everything. I think this $25 tripod probably only cost me $10 because Vipon gave me a coupon code and I got it cheaper. I'm a cheapie. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> Okay, guys, you're just feeding my ego now, but yeah, Team Android Squad, I play a lot of JP Mobile games, and you can't, hold on, and you can't around region lock on Apple anymore. I didn't know that. All right, let's scroll down. The heat is on in my house. It is hot. Do do do. Ashley says, what is a good project for beginners? Actually, almost any one of these patterns on a list. But my favorite thing to start with, start with like a scarf. Perfect. It can go back and forth the long way or short rows to build up that way. A scarf. Learn one new stitch and put it in a scarf. That's it. Simple. Let's see. Do you have any projects coming up this year? Oh, uh, yes. I have two reviews coming up. I have actually three. One is going to be for, oh, here we go. I'm reaching around. Where's my, I'm sorry. I'm pulling stuff out of Look, here we go. I am doing a review for a sock blocker. I am doing, here's a sock blocker. I think I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a sock on the Addy. I've been um, testing out my socks on the Addy. I have a, I can never pronounce the word, a cowl, C-O-W-L, cowl. <laughs> a cowl that's been sitting in my Google Docs for the past two months that I haven't published. Uh, I have a review on this massage gun. Because I suck, I crochet a lot and I sit in the upright position a lot and I get a lot of pains in my body. So I figured like, it's hard to do a lot of crochet gadget reviews, but I can review stuff about that affect other crocheters and knitters. So massage gun coming up. I have a couple of slipper patterns. The slipper patterns are quick and easy to make. So those are some of the things that are up. <gasps> Brini, welcome back. My first crochet project was a dishcloth. My first crochet project was my father's watch cover. I don't know why it's watch need cover, but that was my first one. Hmm. Lori, oh, that would be a fun sock. I need an Addy machine. Uh, okay. I am not the best sock, uh, sock maker on an Addy machine. Because uh, the Addy on the socks, there are only 20, I still got something connected to it. There are only 22 needles. And it's very difficult to make a decent sock with 22 needles. But this is the outcome of it. It's ugly. It's not the best. I'm learning. But maybe uh, I haven't done an Addy video in so long. But I'm not a knitter. This is a sock my mother-in-law knit. This needs blocked. 
she is talented. Of course, the yarn did a lot of the work. My mother-in-law's the best. She's the original Little John Yarns. I just married into the family. There we go. Najat, my New Year project. I want to make a doll wearing a prayer dress. Still can't decide whether to crochet the dress or sew it. Just by looking at your uh, icon, no matter what you do, is amazing. If you feel like getting lazy, sew the dress. Well, I can't sew, so I can't say that's lazy. So you can crochet and sew. I have one talent. It's crochet. I can't crochet and sew. I don't know. Hmm. Guys, give you give her your opinion in a chat. Do you think she should crochet the whole thing or give it a dress? I don't know. Victoria, we should do a crochet along. You could do a poll and we can pick a small project and we can all crochet it together on a live. Who was it? Uh, Tony TL, uh, TL Yarncraft. She keeps telling me like, hey, girl, do a cow. Everybody loves cows. I was thinking about doing it live, Victoria, but I wasn't sure. What if somebody shows up halfway through or it should probably be a simple project? We're gonna make this work. I do want to do a cow. That is my goals for uh 2021. Oh guys, do you want to know what my 2020 goal was? To do lives every single Saturday. In the beginning of 2020, I was terrified of getting on camera in front of anybody and talking for any period of time, even though it tore my stomach up in knots. I went on that Saturday and I did it again and again. And now after I didn't do every single Saturday, but I would say about 45 Saturdays, maybe even like 48 Saturdays. I didn't miss too many. I think I'm a little bit more comfortable with this. I think that's a good life lesson for me. Make put, put take yourself out of your comfort zone so you can grow. I find myself, I'm able to talk to strangers now. I'm 100% introverted. I feel like when I'm talking to other people, I become self-conscious. I start thinking, oh, 134, that's how many people are in my live chat right now. I love it when it's 134 or 413 or any one of those combinations. That is my absolute favorite number. I always seem to notice it. I got sidetracked. What was I talking about? And where's my wine? Oh, but because I took myself out of my comfort zone, I grew a little and now I find myself because of you, you showing up every single week and talking to me. You help me grow into a better person. I'm a sociable person now. I'm so introvert. I still rather be home to be out, but now I can make conversation with other people. Crazy. Oh, welcome back, Toro H Star. You have done a fabulous job on your live this year. Thank you so much. It was terrifying. You guys, most of you know the story. That's where the wine came from. This was my liquid courage. I hid my wine in a coffee mug so I can be like other cool YouTube, you know, live crochet live streamers. Like, yes, I got coffee and we're talking business and stuff. I hid wine in it because I was just shaking inside. <laughs> oh. Lori says, I tried making a crochet sock. It was awful. I think just crochet in itself doesn't look well as a sock. Crochet as a slipper, beautiful. But as a sock, I guess the stitches are too naughty. Knit is just so much smoother. But I do love a good crochet uh, slippers. XD Symphony, 134 must be your angel number then. I've looked up so many things for it. I think so too. I don't want to get like weird and morbid with any of you guys, but um, actually is 314. That's the correct way I usually like it. That was my best friend's birthday, uh, March 14th, 314. And before she passed away, she would tell me all the time, like, no matter what, I always see my birthday pop up. On the mailbox, on TV, she would say she always seen her number pop up everywhere. And I was like, okay, girl, 
you're crazy. You see numbers because you want to see numbers. After she passed away, I see that number at I least. On the web. I'm not talking to you, phone. <laughs> I see that number at least once every single day since he passed away six years ago. Every single day. Mm -hmm. Where are we at? So, yes, my angel number. There we go. <laughs> Rainy season. The wine glass is classier than a mug. It is, because I'm a classy lady. And we got a super chat. Who is? Natalie, you're up on there on my favorites now. I'm starting to see you. I'm recognizing your name. My daughter and I love watching your videos. You are so relatable and real. Can't wait to see all you do in this coming year. Thank you so much, Natalie. Cheers to you. Mm. Let's give you another spin. So, guys, if you guys are scared of doing anything for 2021, just jump. Do it. If I can talk to you for an hour without shaking in my bones like I once did, you can do it, too. This is, oh, we got something different. My granny coat. I was thinking his will was broken, but let me show you my crochet uh, granny coat pattern. Anybody who gets a pattern, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. There it is, my granny coat pattern. Do, 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 scroll. Brandy, she is. Your best friend is one of your guardian, guardian angels. She is. And now my husband, he sees it too. And the funny thing is, his grandmother, she not funny that she passed away. She recently passed away. But her birthday is the same birthday of my best friend, 314. So therefore, you know, when we both see it, we're like, hey, Jamie, hey, grandma. You know, it's feel like they're saying hello to us. I'm going to get a little bit weirder with you, but 143 means I love you. You know, one for I, love is four, three is you. So that whole mix of number is you, I love, I love you. Is I feel like they're telling me every time I see it. Oh, we got some knowledge up in here too. Auntie Isha, that's that right? Auntie, Auntie? Auntie Sash, <laughs> Auntie Sash, 314 is uh, the start of pi and naturally occurring constant makes perfect sense. I've thought that too. She used to love pi day. Oh, Chloe, thank you so much. You are so helpful when I crochet. You are awesome. All right, guys. I guess we can pretty much wrap it up here today. And, oh, wait, wait. One, four, three on our viewers. As I wrap up, it's another occurrence of 143. See? Hello. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you guys for joining me on my live. Make sure you tune in next week. Well, not next week. No, we are taking a break. We are taking a break until 2020. All right. So, uh, Deanna, I will email you. Reggie, I will email you. We we'll probably won't pick this up until maybe mid January. And I, one of the people that I'm going to have for an interview is the underground crafter. I always tell you guys about uh, getting to know your craft gurus and learning from your guru. She is one of my craft gurus. She is one of the people that taught me a lot of the things I know. So she's going to be with us January 16th. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys. I'll see you so much. See you later. Wish you happy holidays and happy new year. Mwah.